Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Zwan Darasiweda and in this channel we talk about all things personal finance, understanding all the financial investment vehicles that are out there and making sure that we rightfully use them towards our goals and ultimately achieve that financial freedom. Okay, so guys, I'm so excited to be back. I've been trying to uh, come back to have a sit down and actually have a content that I have planned to share to share on this channel and i'm excited really because my goal for 2024 onward is to be consistent and i hope that god bless me with the strength and the wisdom to be able to do so so today's video is going to be a book review of the book called mind your sense by furuperani mashapa she is a fellow let me say it the way it's written here personal finance digital content creator <laughs> She's a fellow YouTuber, guys, in simple terms. Um, and I've featured Furu before on this channel, and she has written a book. I'm excited about it. I'm excited for her as well. Um, I love it when we have a lot of books that comes from, you know, African content context, because then it's very relatable. It's like, you know, a girl next door type of book. So um, I'm really happy about that. And... Besides the fact that I know Furu, the reason why I decided to read this book is because of the caption, Mind Your Sense. For me, um, the caption really resonates with me and what I do in terms of education in uh, personal finance space. Because for me, um, when I start coaching people when it comes to personal finance, I start with a... a, 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 a a seminar or a section called getting back to the basics because i actually believe that if you get your basics right everything else will fall into place when it comes to money a lot of it has to do with discipline and it has to do with um your preconceived um ideas about money so if you get the basics right trust me the complex things about money then are easier for you to understand and when i saw that furu is covering something similar which is minding your sense or mind your sense for me that was exciting because i was like yes you have to mind your sense so that you can thrive in your millions okay so that's why i actually read the book um but also i decided to review it and the reason for reviewing is to give you i have two reasons one to give you insights in case maybe you have seen this book somewhere and you're wondering if you 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 want to add it into your bookshelf uh, or if you haven't seen it and you're just looking for a book to read in personal finance space that i can give you insights in regards to what the book is about so that you can decide if you can add it into your bookshelf or not all right the second reason is that like I said, I know Furu and I have featured her on my YouTube channel and I have watched some of her videos and truly I believe that there is information that she can add into the personal finance conversation that is being had. Um, so I decided to read it so that I can gain some knowledge and I'm reviewing it so that I can share with you some of the nuggets that I found that way important in the book. Okay, so we have gone through that part. And I'm just going to quickly go to the nice things about, you know, uh, the book itself. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to start with giving you guys a summary of the book. Um, I don't know if I told you that I have notes. I need to, it's been a while since I came back from YouTube. So, you know, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still getting back. Okay, so I have a lot of notes. So I'm going to read to you what the book is about exactly the way she has written it because in as much as i'm reviewing the book i don't want to give you too much to an extent where you won't want to go and experience it yourself because i think secondhand information is different from you know the first hand one the one where you are actually holding uh like me a physical copy and interacting with the book so um she says in this personal finance guide Furupero Mashapa, an actuarial specialist and a personal finance digital content creator, shares insights and lessons from her own financial wellness journey, as well as from those she has had the privilege to learn from. With a witty and interesting writing style, Mind Your Sense transforms digital financial topics from mundane to enjoyable. Prepare to love, learn, and revolutionize your relationship with money mind your sense aims to challenge um, your perspective on money regardless of your tax bracket the book 
covers topics uh, practical financial topics including budgeting car purchasing investing um, credit and credit scores savings and insurances discover how to give your money a clear purpose make it work for you and utilize insurance not for your own uh, protection but for well-being of your loved ones as well always keep in mind money is a terrible master but an excellent servant by pt banam i believe yes so that's what she says the book is about but i'm gonna give you my honest opinion so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe like and comment and really tell me what it is that really you you think the book is about at this point because really, if you haven't read it if you have read it please just drop some nuggets which you have gotten from the book because i thoroughly enjoyed the book so let's talk about the target market so in as much as this book says mind your sense people can think that it's going to cover like things that are regarding small money because she she uses the word sense but really it's really about all age all races i would say because it's talking about the basics of personal finance and for me i felt that it was a holistic view of personal finance she touched a lot of topics and maybe if i can just write some read some of the uh, chapters that she has on the book she has um embracing budgeting mindsets unleashing the power of interest interest rates she is saving for tomorrow today um transitioning to a wealth building mindset so there's really a very broad scope that she has covered as you can see the book is thick right and the thickness of the book please it should not scare you it's a very enjoyable book it's simple to read she used a very consumable um language but yet not compromising the principles of personal finance so that's actually what i liked about it so if really you are a university student if you are a high school student and if you have just graduated trust me this is a must have for you because Furu really documents um using uh, her own personal examples um her journey and her relations with the money from those ages so for you to be able to learn from her and her failures and her successes it would really really catapult you to um to a success to a monetary success or financial success so um i think if you are starting off this is a really a good book and the reason why i say so is because it's readable it's uh, she doesn't use jargons she's very relatable english and she uses like a normal experience which you face on a day-to-day -day and how that impacts you in the long run so if you're on that age group this is a must have however if you have started working and you're starting to buy your car or you have bought your car you want to buy a house this is also a book for you because really she has gone into details on how she has evolved after graduating really so i love i really love this book i really loved this book so i would say target market is all age because really everyone uses insurance everyone at some point buys cars everybody at some point buys houses and she has real life experiences that touches on those conversations okay so that is um the target market so i also want to talk about um what i believe is uh, not necessarily my key takeaways because that's my last okay again i think i mentioned this her style her style of writing um so she she's very authentic she uses her stories in the book which makes it more realistic i think a lot has been spoken about when it comes to personal finance concepts and principles but in principles it's a very principles are very disconnected because they're not humanized right but when someone tells their story and how they've engaged with principles you really get to relate to principles for an example she speaks on her experience of buying um a first prop her first property and she was looking into buying a on a new development um set up and the challenges that she has faced there trust me i know the process of how to buy a property on a new development however the challenges that she has faced it's not something that i've heard of any anywhere else and through reading this book i actually learned 
relatable laws around the challenges that she has faced um and i think that's the beauty about um learning from other people and reading books and um the never-ending experiences of learning right is that other people experiences open doors which you really never knew existed because there's variety of things that can happen between um the principles which we all know right things never most of the time go as planned and then those deviations are where we actually take um our learning so lastly i'm gonna go for my key takeaways so that this video is not too long <laughs> um so my key takeaways come from um the chapter called drive your money drive your sense feather this chapter was so good one of the things that i like about reading personal finance book is discovering something which i never knew at all and she spoke about buying um a car through um auction something that i knew that there's a possibility of buying a car through auction but i really never know what it took and she actually walked us through the whole process and next time when i'm considering buying a car it's something that i can look into and take the lessons that she indicated in the book and actually i implement them and actually maybe also assess if this is an option i can go for with facts right so i love that about um that chapter another thing i like about this chapter is something that i've spoken about so much when it comes to my own channel um it's um she highlighted the fact that buying a car is actually a huge commitment um it's a long-term commitment and it's a actually huge financial commitment and it's not something that you can just enter and exit it whenever you want to so therefore you really need to do your research and as for me personally i'm sure if you watch this channel you probably know that it took me three years for me to buy my car and the reason why i did that is because i understood that it's a huge financial commitment and what i mean is it was taking a huge percentage out of my income that i'm left without any flexibility financially so i actually started by building reserves my own financial reserves before i could buy a car so that then even when i bought a car i could have flexibility so that's also another thing that she speaks about but also she spoke about you know assessing your affordability um and understanding when and why you want to buy a car um and she goes into details on those particular um aspects okay the second one that i like is um your insurance umbrella this one was very personal for me <laughs> It was very personal for me because I realized that although I know um, how important insurance is and I have a couple of insurances that covers important aspects of my life, like a life cover, car insurance, etc. I really didn't know enough on the terms and condition around my own insurances. It got me calling certain people and asking certain questions, right? Because she really goes into details about the terms and conditions, not all of it, but of course, the important part that you need to ask yourself. For an example, one thing that surprised me is that on a funeral cover, like what happens when you as a main member dies? Right? I really didn't know that and I have a funeral cover and I'm covering certain people as well. So when I die, what happens? Right. So those are some of the things that I have to call and actually get to understand as well. And the difference between a life cover and a credit life, uh, for me, that wasn't clear enough at first. And then she goes into details about what differentiates them, that the life cover kicks in when you die. But with credit life, you can be covered for um for disabilities and you know temporary disability or permanent disability there is that kind of information and of course she works with those things so really she she goes in you actually can feel her expertise coming out from this chapter and i loved it i really really loved it right so yeah um let me go to my third our chapter or my third takeaway i don't know where i put it sorry oh is the chapter on black tax and side hustle and the reason why this was so good and i have a lot of highlighted <laughs> i have a lot of highlighted lines on this chapter because i'm going to be posting some of the quotes that i got from uh, the book 
it's because she covered it so well and she managed to be sensitive around the topic because this is a very emotional topic there are people who are experiencing depression because of this issue of black tax and she was able to actually um debunk the fact that there are people who are actually enjoying supporting their families but there are people who are overwhelmed uh, by uh, the support that is required of them and sometimes these kind of feeling and emotion is self-imposed that we need to also um, manage this concept of black text through boundaries and communication i thought this was really profound um um tips tip that she she was giving right and of course um I am also a fan believer of side hustle and she goes into details in regards to how to identify a side hustle you want to pursue and how it can unlock um, a few cents for you to be able to support your family or just to be able to unlock other um, financial goals that you might have that your primary income is not able to cover. That's it from my side. I would say that go and follow Fulupero on Instagram, follow her on YouTube and get her book. It's such an amazing book. I enjoyed it although it is thick don't be intimidated it's very easy to read uh you'll be able to get the things that are important you'll be able to reflect on your own life you'll be able to um to align what you need to do what you need to do to achieve your long-term goals because that's what she starts the book up the book with um and yeah let me know if you're going to get this book let me know if you have read this book and you have gotten some you know some shaken you got shaken and you're ready to go and conquer the world that's it from my side guys i think i did well for uh a first timer who just got back uh yeah so welcome me back by giving me a purple heart thank you